What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on multiple devices that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Uh, I was doing a Periscope and when I got the box I was super pumped up because it's from SIG and I've never really got that big of a box from an actual manufacturer, not so much a distributor. They sent me all these devices and I do believe all other reviewers out there that have any kind of affiliation with SIG whatsoever got the same setup that I got. Now there are a couple things that I didn't get that are on their newer block. Like for instance, the V-Fang that has the dual squonk bottles. I didn't get that. All I got was, oh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm not gonna go too far in depth with the menus and how to function. I'll do little quick looks, maybe spend like a minute on each one just describing how it works, how it functions. Then I'm gonna bring it on the top and then let you know my final thoughts on them. The device we're talking about today is the Top One by SIG. This is probably the best looking one out of all of them. And I say that lightly. Snow Wolf V-Fang. Not too much originality going on there. Nice boxes though, like little tins. Fuchai MTV kit. I don't know what the MT stands for. Manual transmission, vroom. This is not so much like any of their other Fuchai's. It's kind of its own scenario and own situation. Then the box falls. Then the GW, which is George Washington's mod. I don't know what else that, maybe that's a DW. Looks like GW. Four different devices that I have. I was a little confused with the GW. I thought that all of them came with batteries in it, but they don't. One came with batteries that were totally freaking dead. To give you a better example, 1.4 volts was in each of the batteries that are now being repaired on my gray Falcon over here, which you don't really see too much. And they're actually holding a little bit of a charge. Funny story, story is when SIG was originally making their batteries they did the 26650 there was a lot of misinformation out there and a lot of people didn't understand what was going on because SIG has never really made batteries a lot of speculation whether or not what kind of rewrap battery it is they are typically known just like all other companies to put more power on the actual wrap itself than what the battery can output for instance they're saying that these batteries are 40 amp batteries and they have 3750 mAh yeah Mm -mm, I don't think so. It may put out 3,750 mAh, but I doubt that those are pushing 40 amps. I'm not really going to test it just because I don't have devices to test those products to find out whether or not the validity of what is on the wrap is true in color. Let's bring this down. There's a lot of shit that I'm about ready to go over, so let's flip it. First one we're going to be talking about is the Fuchai MTV kit. When you're first looking at this, I know a lot of people are going to think of the original V-Fang, the one that I kind of ripped apart and I spoke different languages. It does resemble that a lot. However, there are some things with this that I feel they went a little bit in the opposite direction. Instead of improving it, they actually degraded it, making some parts of this extremely lightweight plastic, meaning if you drop this, it's gonna break. It's gonna be a bad situation. SIG on the top, on the side, there's your different color configurations, black, blue, orange, other. I have not seen any of the other, maybe a multiple color one or camo or just kind of a placeholder for whatever and they do come out with other colors. Fucha on the bottom. Production date. 18 to 21 UPC scratch and sniff. This is going to be gray cot scented flavor. On the back specification stack car sheet. 10 to 220 watts. This is going to be a series box mod dual 18650s. It doesn't really mention it anywhere here, but it is in fact an 18650 box mod. 6.4 to 8.4 volt. That's going to be the two batteries stacked on top of each other. Your voltage output 7.5. Here we go with that really low voltage output. If you're already going to input this amount of voltage, why not output that same amount of voltage or even close to it instead of being a whole volt off? Inside the box, what do we have? A little QC check. Oh, we remember this card, don't we? Yes, we do. As far as SIG is concerned for warranty, I don't know too many people that have had problems with their SIG and SIG actually take care of them. Again, we go back into if something is wrong, they're going to tell you to go back to the company that you bought it from to get a replacement. And when the company tries to contact SIG in regards to getting that a replacement since they replaced it for a customer, usually not the case. Unless, of course, that changed, I'm not really sure. Instruction manual. 
for your QC check. This is the tank that comes with it. It's called the T3 tank. Now, a lot of this packaging you're seeing may not be the final rendition. It may have some things added to it. They may take away from it. It may not even come with this tank. If you're looking on the left, they're labeling each thing as a number and telling you what it is. However, they kind of jack it up over here on the right-hand side. This is what it is compatible with as far as coils are concerned. Again, Baby B's coils do work inside of this. Unscrew the coil number four from the base piece. Number four is a Pyrex glass. So I don't know if they have like a special glass that has a coil built into it. Not really, because down here, number five is the actual coil. Unscrew the bottom piece, number five from the tank. Number five is the coil. You unscrew that. Okay, fine. They should have just said coil. It's the second one saying that number four, you unscrew that, which you're not going to be able to unscrew that because it's not threaded. While we're going over the rest of this mod, let's go ahead and take the tank out. Tank and extra glass, some O-rings and an extra coil. The coils are almost the same exact thing. This is rated at 60 to 100, best 70 to 80 watts. Both of the coils that come with this are exactly the same. And this is the ratings on the side of the coil. Prime the coil, get it ready to go. Problem I'm having, obviously, with the tank itself, I can't actually separate it. It's so tight that there's, there's no way to actually separate it. The drip tip is going to come out. It's going to be Delrin. Screws right in, sort of like how the Cleto 120 cap was. All one piece with the drip tip, so you're not going to be able to use your own drip tip configuration with this. You kind of have to use a stock one. Have some kind of floral arrangement going on up here. Some tribal and dragons and flames and fire. Lots of other stuff. And then on the bottom, same situation again. Do you see how this bottom is free spinning? So no matter how much you spin this, it does absolutely nothing. And you can tell that the airflow does not lock in place. If it's on your mod, you're going to have to spin this a lot just to get the airflow in the proper configuration as to which way you want it. As far as separating it, you're going to grab where it says Fuchai here and then turn it. However, the problem is, is this is so tight, I can't even turn this off. I, I just, I can't. And grabbing it is just spinning this airflow. So extremely poor design here. Absolutely fucking horrible. Let me just go ahead and grab some jammies here. If you're going to use something that I'm like, if you're going to use something like I'm using right now, just be very, very careful because you don't want to squeeze the glass and snap the glass. Granted, you do have an extra one, but there, do you see what's happening? Look, so no matter what you do, you have to do something where it's grabbing. No, oh, see, I just can't get a good grip on it. That might be right there. Nope. Do you see what's happening? It's still spinning. Mm. All right, guys, here we go. Check this out. All right, so, uh, okay. The coil that comes with this, the additional coil is the same exact one that's in the tank. And let me tell you this, the writing on the side of this, mm -mm, not so good. Nope. I know this is going to appeal to a lot of people right here, but I think this is absolutely repulsive. So inside here, if we've all seen the glow or the meteor, this does the same type of situation. You hit the fire button and it lights up. That is just ridiculous. The more power you put through it, the brighter it becomes. 75, bring it down to like 12. See how it's barely lighting up right now? So depending on how much power you have through it, the light get becomes brighter. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of this tank is going to be this weird apparatus that reminds you of like an Oreo that has a bunch of pinholes through it. This is going to go right in here like so, and that's going to create little red accents inside of your tank. I'm going to tell you right now that if you're going to buy this device or that you're going to buy this tank, be very, very weary of how you take this apart because you're very, very much likely to snap that glass when you're trying to take it off. And then you thread this on. And you could get different rings and shit. You could get white, blue, fluorescent orange, green, all these different colors. Now, this only does come with this one color and the other ones that I got all come with the same color. On the side of the device, you're going to have this jammy. This is going to have a micro USB in it. So for those of you that already owned the SIG MT, this is going to look very, very familiar to you. The fire button is typically the same with the little eyes there up and down see your circuitry right here on this side is where I get kind of thrown off these sides are actually plastic 
I don't know why they would go with plastic on the side of their mod. Almost like uh, that's their attempt at making it more lightweight, but in fact it makes it much more cheesier and feels shittier in the hand. This is everybody's best friend. This is the original V-Fang. Very, very similar in size, similar in ergonomics. This is more jagged on the side. This is more flush and fluid. The original MT came out around the same time frame as the V-Fang. This guy here is the updated MT, which I believe they changed the doors and firmware. Kind of reminds you of Tesla, doesn't it? On the back there. There's just a lot of similarities between the two. So if you already like the V-Fang, you're going to like this device. I honestly do not mind the front plate of this. So we're going to put batteries in this and fire this up. This is going to be a dual 18650 mod. Positive, your negative, and then up here, I believe that is the date again. 12 22 2017 it's cool that they're putting their dates all over the place a little bit of spacing between the two i feel that if they were already going to make it with us that much spacing between the two they could have compressed the mob that much smaller made it more compact might as well have just went with 2700s at that point go ahead and slide that down a little little um not not very secure as you can see it just just the slightest touch that kind of comes up the screen that is the same on this is going to be exactly the same of this one one two three power color mode pilot lamp pilot lamp is for when you're flying and you can't see where you're going so you turn the headlight on of your plane i don't know what the hell a pilot lamp is pilot lamp is basically these two eyes that you see right there lit up now if you turn that off that's going to shut those eyeballs off one two three turn that off now when i fire it the eyes will be off. The lights on the side, one, two, three. This type of LED doesn't really bother me, but it does. I'm not a huge fan of LEDs. We've been through this a million times. This is just not my cup of anything. Tea, coffee, soda, juice. You want me to make you some juice? You want me to make you some fresh squeezed juice? One, two, three. You go to color mode, select mode. You pick the color you want, and then once you have the color picked, you hit the fire button, and then you can select whether it's when using it, when you hit the fire button, always on, which literally it's always on, or always off. I'm going to leave it off. We press the fire and the up button. That's going to allow you to adjust your preheat. You keep it held down. Then you can adjust how hard it hits and for how long. Two buttons together. That's going to allow you to set the resistance if you're using this in temp mode. One, two, three. There is your different temp modes. You have power, 316, 317, nickel, TCR, and titanium. I remember I did this and I said till and someone lost their shit. So we shut the LEDs of the mod off. The thing is, the way that this tank is configured, it'll work on any device and light up. So there is no way to shut that light off. No matter what you do. Listen, you can't bullshit me. That doesn't look bad on the top. It really, really doesn't. What hurts this mod more than anything is the silly little graphics on the side. There's a pearl inside of there. That's not dirty, guys. That's not, you know, that's not dandruff or psoriasis. That's actually the color of the mod. It's like a black with silver flakes in it. Why not just go solid black? Why make shit difficult? Really nice port right there to fill it up. Now we're going over the next device, which is their SIG GW. This is probably one of the ugliest mods that I've ever seen, especially in this batch. Like, whoa, daddy. Ew, just ew. On the front, GW, George Washington. Just makes sense, looks like an apple tree. On the top, GW again. On the side, same type of situation, but I do believe this to be a vanilla polyester flavor scented situation on the bottom sig on the side nothing on the back 257 watts you want to talk about peculiar wattage all right and again with the voltage voltage input 8.4 voltage output 7.5 quick reader code what's inside the box now this is not a starter kit it is just the mod i'm not quite sure if whether or not when you get this device if it will have batteries in it the yellow one i had had batteries in it which were in fact destroyed the cells were rocked 1.4 volts or something extremely low they are these batteries right here again your mod may or may not come with these keep in mind both of these boxes were sealed when i got them take this off same thing that was on the front of the box is the same thing that's on the inner box i don't know if that's supposed to be some type of brick wall and maybe a river or some some sort maybe some grape jelly vape it 
and love it. The manual is not really extensive. It looks a lot bigger than what it is. There's two pages. Everything that I showed you on the previous mod is the same things that you're going to do on this, so I'm not going to be going over the menu functions of how this works. Another quick read of code on the back there. On the side, you're going to have your quality assurance check. A little scratch and sniff how to validate that and smell it properly. I think you have to use rubber gloves on your feet before you can smell the scent properly or be precise with the scent. It may come off as a different flavor or scent if you don't put gloves on your feet. And I'm not talking about those socks that have the toe cutouts, most ridiculous things ever. So this is what I'm assuming is whoever made this or whoever designed this is a huge Star Wars fan because this reminds me of R2-D2 or some type of futuristic trash receptacle or in layman's terms, a trash bin. I guess we could use the argument that if I put the 502 in here, it looks like two trash cans, right? So I know someone's gonna say is ew. Say, Jay, they're ugly. It looks ugly. It looks like they're meant to be a pair, a disgusting piece. Fuck you. Again, with the crazy ass designs and shit on the side, that looks like to be a map of China. Maybe the uh, the Great Wall there. That might even be a castle, a moat, and a drawbridge. Some Asian of s some sort, or just, I don't know what that is on the top there. Reflection is real with this. It is extremely shiny. And that is a dragon, I take it. Or maybe that's, yup. That's the same thing on the other side, just flipped wrong side up. That, again, is plastic. Fire button, massive, right in the center. Can't miss it, kinda looks like a badge that you would put on the back of a shirt, or like an emblem to a Subaru. Very clicky, up and down, down here, there's the GW again. Inside here, you're gonna have two different adapters, and that's gonna allow you to go from a 21700 to an 18650. Super sexy, so even if you get this mod you don't like it, at least you get two adapters out of it. Or if you get lucky enough, you might even get two batteries. That is made when, no way, is that real? I guess that is real. Look at the date on the box. Check that out. 2018, January 19th. Over here, you have January 16th, 2018. Rubber nipple thing going on. I, To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what that nipple does. It may just be there to look good. Negative side here, positive side top. These are 2700s right here, and they do have a little bit of looseness going on. Something you have to kind of deal with. So either use an 18650 with those adapters or use a 21700 if you are going to buy this mod. Don't know why you would. Now, same thing with this door again. Very, very floppy. Very much pain in the ass to lock it in place. There it is. Got a little bit of weight to it. Again, same exact screen that we've seen on the one right before this. Exactly the same. However, you click this button three times, you don't have the option of colors because there is no colors on this. This is just straight up trash can color is what that is. An old silver wooden ship. Where is my turkey at? Based off the way this looks, this is kind of off center. That's gonna cause a problem. So a 25 on here is gonna look absolutely fine, no overhang whatsoever. 30 millimeter on the other hand is going to create a very awkward scenario. So you could tell here that it's perfectly center in line with the mod, that looks good. However, on the back side of that, you have an overhang. Why? If you're not gonna have a straight shot center horizontally and vertically, why not bring this forward a little bit more so you have room on the back? Because that looks like absolute junk. If you put something on here that's a 28, you will get away with it with no overhang. I don't know if they were designing this for 30 millimeter, but something inside of me says they were because it's a dual 2700 box mod. This is the one that goes to awkward power. It's 257 watts. Can't say I've ever seen that before. Scroll all the way up. And SIG is typically known for this. And the more power you put through it, the brighter this becomes. Kind of like, uh-oh, warning, step off. Battery voltage down here on the bottom. Plastic on the side again. That's not battery venting at all. That is something to put a nickel in. Sort of like how you have penny loafers. Now they have penny mods. This is kind of a nice box. I really, really do like the box. I have to give them props on that one. On the front, you have a display of the mod, again, the production date, and then the color of the device is gonna be right here in the corner. It's not V-Fang, it is X-Fang. USB cable, user manual, some more information down here. There it is, again, 8.4 volts. Basically, all of these mods that I've shown you with the exception of the wattage are identical. Same chip in every single one. Snow Wolf Vape, I got a lot of shit for this, because people are like, Snow Wolf and SIG are not the same company. Yes, they are. The same company that sent me the previous two devices, the same company that sent me this one, they're all in cahoots. That's such a silly word. On the bottom there, scratch and sniff. This is gonna be a cherry grape. Right, let's scratch that to check. Yes. 
That might be a cherry frosting, like a cherry vanilla, almost like a black forest or black forest day. Mm-hmm. Cappuccino, possibly. Not sure. This is the one that comes with so much shit, I don't even know if it's from the same box. Two different screen protectors. I wish more mods would come with stuff like this. Same warranty card that you see in the other ones. Scratch and sniff, how to validate and how to sniff it. This one I do believe you have to wear a gas mask. Quality assurance. This one isn't actually bad looking. This whole display of this, this kind of X block, doesn't really go into the whole V-Fang aura. Very different shape, very different feel. Got some venting going on there on the side, micro USB. The door here has got like all your zodiac signs, astrology. And then in the middle, that's the new one. That's the snow wolf emblem sign. That's for uh, February 29th. It has its own sign. Get it? Leap year? No? Too much. Okay. Fire button right here on the top. What we're going to be able to fit 30 millimeters on this as well as kind of an overhang. If you're looking down the side of the mod, you kind of have no overhang because you have this raised plate or acrylic resin, whatever that is. Take the batteries out of this. There's a little groove down here, which you're going to go ahead and put your fingernail in and pop it and lock it. 18650s dual situation. Positive on the top there. Over here, you're gonna have negative on the top, so it's definitely a series. A Little bit of a protrusion. There is a magnet on the top, two UGS magnet bars on the side, and then you have your screws to actually hold this piece together. Very, very firm, no movement at all. Same exact screen as the original V-Fang. One, two, three. Very difficult for you to see here, but what we have is mode, set, exit. If we go into mode, hit the fire button, you have power, TCR, NI200, till or titanium, stainless steel, back to power. Set, this is going to allow you to change a couple settings on the inside of this mod. Power saving is basically when the mod is gonna shut down, you turn it on, as the mod sits, it basically goes into a standby mode. One, two, three, zero puffs, that's gonna zero it out. Preheat is your preheat punch, self-explanatory. Your normal hard, soft, and user. Funny thing is, the other mods that I just showed you don't have the normal soft power and custom. One, two, three, four, five, it's gonna shut the mod off, show you all your little astrology signs. If they made the Snow Wolf in silver and this in silver, I feel like it would look that much better. Or if these were actually stainless steel buttons would really make this badass. This whole plastic shit that a lot of companies are going with is so friggin' ugly. It reminds me of 1980s toys. Like if you scratch this enough, it's gonna come off. Fire in the up button, that's nice. It shows you a little graphical display, of the two batteries, okay. Fire in the down button, buttons locked. Okay, so one more thing that I failed to mention, one, two, three. Go over here to set. And then down here, you're going to see GUI, G-U-I, Graphical User Interface. Hit that. You have two different options. You have the stock one that kind of looks a little futuristic, and then you have a very, very basic one, which this one I like better than the other one. One issue I have with this whole situation is as bright as that is, there's no way to bring down that brightness. It's very basic on the screen. And there's really no point of having this here, which is the way it hits, if you can't adjust it on the fly. You have to basically go through the whole menu to adjust how this hits. Guess we're moving on to the next one. There's not many options inside of this mod. This mod would be that much better if it had a different interface and then different buttons right here. Out of all of the ones that I did, I've kind of showed you them in random orders, not any specific order that makes one better than the next or uglier than the next. However, that's going to change with the next one. When I first got this box and I opened it up, I thought all of these were ugly until I took them out on screen on Periscope, and I showed people the different devices. This one, I guess, is called the Top Egg Mod. Top one. A lot of people calling this a clock, grandfather jammy, the toaster oven, the oven temperature adjuster. Has a lot of different names for it, but the name that Sig went with is Top One. Scratch and sniff, this is going to be a dark chocolate can scent and flavor. Warranty card, how to use the scratch and sniff, little foam jammy, QC pass. This is the best looking device out of all of them. When I first saw it, it was a little difficult to get used to, just because I thought it looked a little bit silly. It reminds me of the whole watch craze that's going on right now. You know, people got the really big watches with a really big display. That's literally exactly what that reminds me of. Now, on the front, this is going to be plastic right here. The button is also plastic right here. However, on the flip side of that, 
this is metal. And this badge reminds me a lot of Porsche. You have more plastic accents here, and then you have a carbon fiber sticker. If this all plastic was actually brushed aluminum or even a stainless steel, I feel this mod would be super sexy. And I may, I may, I, I'm quoting may here, use this device. Up and down here, fire button there, on the top for what we can fit. Some better better call 911. Corniest line ever. You see a little fingerprints on there? Obviously that's from me, I hope so, but those look like really tiny fingerprints. And I don't remember ever touching that screen. 30 millimeter will fit on this, you're gonna have a little bit of an overhang, but it's so minuscule, it's probably a quarter of a millimeter. So this one is gonna house a 30 millimeter the best. And it being centered actually doesn't look that bad. It reminds me of some kind of apparatus, maybe from Zelda or something. Let's go over it inside, door. Ooh, uh, ew, the worst door out of all of them. You see this? This movement is treacherous. That is atrocious. I'm sorry. Basically, if you set this down, this isn't going to open up. And then there it is. Sig, humongous screen. I don't know why a lot of companies are going with this look, with this dial, the Rev GTS, uh, the Joytech Epsium, the Lyra. This is just the thing. And I don't know where this thing is coming from as to why people are saying go this route. That is 10 watts at its lowest setting. I thought that said 100 watts too. Time down here, the way it's hitting your resistance. Real simple shit. One, two, three. And then you have mode, set, exit. Set, it's gonna allow you to change the preheat power, the graphic user interface. Oh my, oh my God. Oh Jesus Christmas, we're getting out of that. That is not touchscreen, by the way. Kind of looks like Simon Says. You hit the thing and, the, and then you, the thing hits the thing. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> wow, G glasses? You need glasses? Not a bad display. I feel the colors could be a little bit different, but it's not bad. Go back to set, you have your time set, vape time, and then your preheat. All very, very simple stuff here, vape time is how long you'll be able to hold down the button and 10 seconds is it one two three on the top you're gonna have mode 316 317 tcr temperature coefficiency rating nickel and titanium fahrenheit celsius fahrenheit and now we're out of that one two three we're gonna have to bring it back into into power mode normal soft hard user there's the end but again there's no way to adjust that on the fly up and fire is going to show the battery power Press the two together, if we could get the hell out of that, only for temp. Five clicks, turns it off. System off. Whoa, uh, okay, ew, pixelated. This looks like a real watch. I don't know what the rest of this is. Oh my God, let's bring it on the top. Back on the top with the cluster jammy. I would show you what we're back on the top with, but I don't have enough of hands. Well, maybe I do. Let's try this. I just feel like I'm gonna scratch everything up doing this. Back on the top with all the SIG devices. Super jimmies, super jammies. There they are. We're gonna go over these one by one, and then I'm gonna give you the rating for these one by one. Don't wait to the end of the video to hear the rating for each one of these devices, because if you wait to the end, you're only gonna hear the rating of the last device that I'm giving a rating. First off is the new VFang MT TVR78. 46.5 watts on their stock coil. Let me show you some of the vape production. <laughs> It's not enough for power. Let's put some more juice through that. I mean, 68. I don't know if the cotton that they're using sucks or if it's like a paper towel. It's not good. I'm getting no flavor at all. Obviously, I could taste some remnants of what it's supposed to be, but it's not, it's not very good. Not the flavor. The flavor itself is good. The Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam. And that airflow is cut literally by two thirds. There's like no airflow. Okay, okay, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Let's go over some of the fallbacks I have with this. First off, the LEDs, too much, obnoxious, just not good. It's nice that you could turn it off on the mod itself, but as far as the tank is concerned, as long as there's power running through where those coils are, then it's gonna light up. The more power you put through it, the brighter it gets. And if you plan on using this tank on a different device, it gets even brighter at that point. 
No way to change the colors unless, of course, you want to change the ring that's inside, which I have no idea how you're going to do that. I'm not quite sure if there's something that they've already made in the past that can fit this, that allow you to change the color of how this lights up. But yeah, that's not going to work for me. I don't like anything with LEDs. The mod itself doesn't feel bad. However, the plastic that houses the batteries suck. If you drop this one time and this lands on the curb or the ground or something hard, that's going to shatter. Check this out. You hear that? How do I not lose my fucking mind at this point? How do I stay calm when that garbage fucking happens? How? If I take any other mod that has any kind of tray on the bottom, Let's take a look at the SX, right? No matter how much I flip and flop this shit, it's not gonna fly out because there's a latch. That goes to show you how shitty the fucking latch is on that mod. Remember the video where I said, who the fuck shakes the vape? I understand you, listen, unless you got the old parky jammies or you got, you know, the old salt and pepper syndrome where you just shake all the time, your mods are gonna get jacked up. But I, I'm not trying to make a joke out of it. What I'm trying to say is, why would you make a latch so shitty that if I just, like, come on, what? Shit's all fucked up. I got drippers all upside down and tanks flipping and flopping. This is nonsense. I could duplicate that a hundred times. Remember I was showing you it doesn't really lock all the way down? So if we flip that up, right, look at the little bit of room we have to play. So we snap that in. So let me go out of the screen and show you what I got going on here because it seems like I'm making some shit up. Again, positive and negative. That's snapped in. No jump cuts. Watch. Not snapped in, not touching the bottom. Sit here and just a little bit of shakes. Go ahead. I'd, I'd, I'd really love to hear your response. I would really love to. Prior to this happening, I would have rated it like a six. Now, I'm gonna rate it dicks. If I was rate this device with this floppy ass fucking door, probably a two. If you can manage to get some tape, some duct tape, tape up the bottom, you may enjoy this mod. You shouldn't have to buy additional shit for a mod to work properly. I don't even wanna finish the fucking reviews. That makes me furious. How did that pass quality assurance? I guess maybe SIG, the people that work there, don't shake a lot or they don't look at that test. I feel like that is a test that should be done. That's not even a stress test. It's not like I'm banging it on the, on the table or hitting it against my head. I'll just give it a couple little whip whip and it's out, watch. Let's see how many times I do it. I'm gonna do, whoop, whoop, just like that. Hold on. It is totally secure. There's nothing. I'm gonna grab this. I'm not touching the bottom. No slate of hand, no none of that, ready? I bet you, look, I'm still having to touch it. I bet you two flicks and it's gonna fly out, ready? Just two, two, one, okay. All right, I didn't even make it to two. Like, what are we doing? Tonight, Sally is fired. <laughs> Give me a rope, make a lasso. Maybe not a lasso, make a slip knot and a rope. I'm gonna put it on the roof up here. I'm gonna yank my own throat, call it in. I'm gonna do all of Chinese manufacturers a favor and just off myself right now on camera. And I'm gonna record it. Get ready, here it goes. I feel like this is the wrong tool to use. I almost feel like this would be too heavy. But if there was a drill, I could... Oh, God, you know how horrible that would be? If you had a drill at the end, like if you... Do you know how horrible this would be sticking this in the back of your mouth and then spinning it at a low speed? gonna go right through my fucking finger. Fuck a hammer, I'm using a drill. This is gonna take a long time. 
I feel like I could have, it's like I'm losing my, I'm, I'm cooling down now. <laughs> Cause it's like 86 minutes. Let me show you what happens with a mod like this. If it can't hold the batteries in, and I figure the best way to handle that is with the term of measure of being super sexy. This is what I'm talking about right here. Tight enough. Stand by, Dragon Toe. Stand by. If I go too tight, I'm gonna break the plastic. Wow, that piece up there on the top. Hi, dickhead. Let's just spin this motherfucker in reverse. Let me introduce you. I call this the three shooter. Put a couple drill holes in there. What that does is give you better battery venting. How much you want to bet if I put batteries in this, it still doesn't work. Do you know why? Because I can't even hold batteries without those holes in it. Probably said, why would you do that, Jay? That doesn't make sense, that's mean. Well, guess what? My life is mean. I'm a sour patch piece of shit. The crazy part is this is on the top there where I was trying to drill through. First off, I had it in reverse. Nobody said anything. You could have said to me, Jay, wait. You got to drill the wrong way. You didn't. You just let me do what I had to do. We're looking like an asshole while I was doing it. Jay, stop. Put the drill in the right way. You can do that. Let's move forward. Keep the drill on the table. Let's keep shit natural. The next device, the GW, the one that looks like a trash can. So you got the rating on that last one, like a one or a two. That's pushing it. With the holes though, I'm gonna bring it up to like a three or a four. See what I did there? Three holes, three ratings, three pops. Bang, bang, bang. Pow, pow, pow. Let's see this, there's metal shards everywhere. If I get a metal splinter, if I get a short, don't stress, don't call anybody. I'll, call, I'll figure it out, I get my phone. I think that's gonna be a new test that I do, is flop shit around to see how shit flies out. There you go, that's secure, two 2700s. I'm gonna hold the door while I do this because I want you to hear the rattle. Now that rattle is because they are 2700s and a 21700 mod. But, but, let's do the test. I'm gonna hold the mod out here, not doing any tricks. There it is. And I'm just gonna do the one, two, three flick. One, two, three flick. Here we go, one, two, three flick. One, two, three, one. I don't know if I, what I'm doing is a fluke, but I don't feel like this should be a thing. Mod to fun, let's try that. Make sure I don't have any of those metal shamans on these jammies. Totally different mod than the others, let's see. I look so fucking stupid, like I got the bingo wings. Look at great example. Why not use an original 213? Let's see if their quality assurance has gotten any better than what it was. There you go. Same situation. Let's do, uh, it doesn't look like that's down all the way. There we go. Let's do the flick. Here we go. Ready? Do the one, two, three, Jamie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nothing! Sig, you suck balls. There you go. Another Sig device with no problems. Good. Good. I know you can use the argument and say, well, this has got 2700s, those are heavy batteries. You do that, they're gonna flip out, fly out, do some tricks. No, that's not it. Look at the door. Because this is an 18650. I feel like I'm playing fucking spoons. How would I rate this device on a zero to 10? We're gonna go back a one because it looks like a trash can. 
and it functions like a trash can. If it can't even do something as simple as holding batteries in, why the hell should I give it a rating? The plastic jammy, the X-Fang, won't have batteries fly out because the way that the door is, it would be impossible for the batteries to fly out. But the screen looks identical to the original V-Fang, so there's absolutely no adjustments whatsoever. Basically, they're taking an old chip that they have and putting a different body on it, calling it a different device. Maybe the firmware is different, I don't know. It's not the point. All these mods, with the exception of one, are absolutely fucking horrendous. I feel like they should be sold at a garage sale or like a vape sale convention. And they got little stickers on it, like the, the little ribbon with the yarn, 50 cents. How would I rate this device on a zero to 10? I'm gonna go like three. Just because it's the same damn chip that's in the V-Fang, there's no differences between that and this with the exception of the chip. That does not justify jacking up the price Saying, hey, customer, you got some Vaseline to go inside your asshole? So I'm ramming it deep, you don't feel nothing? No, that's not, that's not a thing. Maybe that's a thing if you work at like a brothel or like the red light district, that might be a thing. But here we're talking about mods. We're not talking about dildos. Let's be real. Two or three is where I'm going with this. Not even gonna vape it, because it doesn't matter. Then the last one is the one that they didn't know if they were a car company or they were a vape company. So they stuck the Porsche emblem on the back of it, and on the front of it, they took the tachometer. Let's see if we could take the most random and animate objects, slide it into one, and call that a vape. So much stuff is going on, but listen, this isn't bad. You know what this reminds me of now looking at it? A fucking walkie-talkie. That's what it reminds me of, because this would be the speaker, this would be, hey, Joe, Joe, meet me at the house, talk to me on the can. And then you pick up the can, it got the string on the side of it. I don't know why I have a walkie-talkie in the can. You just have really bad communication problems, but, Talk to him on a cat. Ayo. Oh. Never figured out how that worked. I think it's an echo, but you can't use a string. You gotta use like a hose. Whatever. You got that. But this is a walkie talkie. It's a walkie talkie, a clock, a Porsche emblem, a mod, a vape, battery flip around holder thing. Wanna, wanna, wanna bet? Wanna, wanna. Okay. I feel like they spent more time on this one than any of the other ones. Let's just see. We're gonna do the little flippy flaps. Here we go. I just know they're gonna fly out. Would you look at that, would you look at that? So I guess this device out of all of them is the best out of all of them because the other ones can't even hold the fucking batteries in. This is the one, honestly, all jokes aside, I feel looks the best out of all of them. But there is a whole, this is basically an ass load of different things crammed into one to try to be sexy. TM30 sitting on the top of that. I'm trying to tell you, tell me that doesn't look badass. You, uh, what? Let that shut off for a second. I don't know. It just reminds me of like some kind of Sony Walkman or a Sony walkie talkie. See, this is a tough call because here's the situation. I know on first looks when it's coming out of the package, it's kind of like a love it or hate it type deal. They want to put the TM30 on it. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh. Wow. So here's some of the fallbacks with it. It's tacky. This is gonna be applicable to a very, very, very select few amount of people. Some people are gonna look at this and like friggin' hate it, and other people are gonna look at it and love it. I'm kind of on a love it scale. I don't know if I would ever use it, but I really like the way that it looks as a whole. It just, it's compact, it's two batteries, it does have a little bit of weight to it. At least the door is secure on this, unlike those other pieces of shits. I guess one out of four isn't that horrible. There's a lot of plastic all over the place. Anything you see chrome is plastic, with the exception of the dripper on the top, clearly, and the badge that's on the back that's actually metal. Would've been much cooler if they made it like all stainless steel and polished stainless steel, or maybe even, polished aluminum, brushed aluminum, anything other than plastic. Because if you drop this and that plastic breaks this thing, it's gonna destroy the aesthetics of this. If you like something, you like something. If something's good, it's good. I think the stickers eventually are gonna fall off the side. They don't give you extra stickers. Probably may see me use this from time to time again in a live show or even on another video. It's not a bad device for what it is. If I was to rate this device on a zero to 10, I'm probably gonna give it a 5.5. Again, if the plastic was all metal, Ooh. The weight of it would go up, but I feel it would look that much better than it does now. It's nowhere near that other garbage in the beginning of this video. 
this deserves its own review. It really, really does. And the way that this feels ergonomically, it just feels nice. Like the way that I have my hand right now, it just kind of goes around it, has a nice feel to it. Would I recommend you to go on and go pick this device up? If you like speedometers, sure, or like Porsche emblems, absolutely. This is probably one of the best SIG devices that they've made in the past year and a half. Prior to that, I'd say the 213. Prior to that would be the 150 and the 100, and then the 75 and then the 50, all solid devices. Everything else after that, I wasn't a big fan of the, of the Fuchas. I know a lot of people like them. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay, he's out.